because if I could alter your mind, like if I I, I think you can. As your mind creates that idea, that expectation. All the way back down, an amazing state of relaxation. Doing amazing and... I'm sorry, I know I'm new here and I don't remember all of your names. Your name was... Oh, hell I'm trying to see <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome back to the Too Hype channel. Today we got a very uh, interesting special video. Uh, we have our man Zach over here and he is a hypnotist. And today we are gonna get hypnotized. Now, Ugh. I'm not gonna be standing or doing anything too crazy. I'm still recovering from the hammy. But Zach, tell us about yourself, man. What, what, wait, 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 wait. Was that an excuse to potentially not get hypnotized? Yeah, that was that was a reach. Oh. Was that, what was <laughs> that? <laughs> Yeah, you can't just use listen, that as an excuse. Listen, oh, man, my, this my side leg. of the couch, we're gonna go in order. So by the time it gets to me, then, you know, I'll get hypnotized. Right, but what if you hypnotize make you feel like your hamstring never got pulled? Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that seems like I would love that. that. I would love that, yeah. 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 Oh, I can run. Yeah. Dies. <laughs> just the next day, I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck happened? <laughs> um, but anyways, have you guys ever been hypnotized? Never. Mm -hmm. Here? None of us? Been no. traumatized, not hypnotized. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we all, we I've been traumatized here. a few times. I'll um, be honest with you, I never really like, I I haven't been convinced that it's real, like in person. I've seen videos and stuff, but like, I think it would, it literally, I'm the type of person where it has to happen to me or I'm still skeptical until it does. Okay. So basically tap into the subconscious mind, right? That's a part of it. Yeah, it's about understanding how our mind is naturally wired to create experiences out of our beliefs. And this happens to every single one of us every night when we dream. What happens when you dream is you go into deep sleep. I get sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. And that's what happens is when you get deep enough, every, everybody goes into some form of sleep paralysis, but a more extreme form is what people actually refer to as sleep paralysis because your body is so relaxed that you physically will shut down so that your mind can relax. But when you dream, you go into the state where your mind creates this whole scenario or situation where all these crazy cool things are happening. And even though you know in your mind it's not real, that part of your mind is asleep and that part of your mind doesn't care and so it feels real. That's why if you have a scary dream or a nightmare, you wake up in a cold sweat and scared even though nothing happens because it felt so real, your mind created that experience in your head as if it was. So hypnosis is tapping into that way your mind already works but doing it in real life. So, you almost get to live dreams in reality. Whoa, whoa. I'm, that so, I'm scared so already. So yeah. how do we know if this reality right here, we're not dreaming? It's a good question. What the fuck? Okay, guys. Count your fingers. This deep talk. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, not before I get hit in the time. Uh, <laughs> listen, this whole is going too deep, bro. We got to put some listen, back in. Listen, Zach, all right? We got two Zachs today. All right, I think there's no way you're hypnotizing James. Like, I think like James, like I would love to see it and I want him to go first. Yes. And- If you can do James, you can What do, do you me. like typically do? Like, do you do warm ups with our brains? Like what, like- <laughs> Keisha was do like- a stretch? A magic trick first? You know magic trick? Well, I used He's to do magic, but I'll tell, tell you what. But, but he, let's, but he understands let's, that. Let's, let's, oh. do, let's do like a warm up thing. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but since you asked, we'll do what's No, called. don't warm up with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't the hypnosis yet. Okay, this okay. is just to show you what it's like. Okay. Okay. All right. So you all can have this have this Ready? experience. You ask for the warm up. We'll do the we'll do the warm up. <laughs> oh, hell no. In hypnosis terms, this is what's called a suggestibility test. It shows kind of how suggestible you may be. Again, as a hypnotist, I don't have magic powers as much as I wish I did, and sometimes it looks like I do. All I do is I simply say the right words in the right order at the right time to help you experience and facilitate the state known as hypnosis. But at the end of the day, if I'm giving you the directions, the instructions, and you don't pay attention, you don't listen, you're just like, no. Yeah. And as DJ Khaled would say, you played yourself. Uh, it, I like it's that. It's not, not, not gonna work if you don't go with it. That doesn't mean you're just faking and acting and going yeah. along, but it's a, it's a two-way experience, right? But what we'll do is we'll do again what's called the suggestibility test to show you guys what hypnosis is like, okay? This isn't hypnosis yet, it just shows you what it's like. Have you put both of your arms out? straight in front of you. I'll have you place your right arm so that your palm is face up and keep your left arm so that your thumb is face up. I want you to look at the space between your arms. Look at the space between where your arms are. Not at me, just look at the space. Focus on the space. And I want you to, I'm gonna give you in a moment two different suggestions that I want you to focus on as much as possible. Right now I want you to close your eyes just so you can focus on me. You're not going to sleep, you're not going into trance. Just focus oh, on your eyes. Just close your eyes so you can focus on my voice. All right, I wanna again give you two ideas 
that I want you to focus on. Keep your arms out in front of you. I want you to imagine that right now, I've tied and attached a big bright red helium balloon to your left thumb, the left thumb that is pointing up towards the sky. And imagine that big red helium balloon pulling that left arm up towards the sky. Imagine that balloon makes that left hand, that left arm lighter and lighter. As it makes that left hand lighter and lighter, that balloon makes that hand go higher and higher. Imagine I tie a second and a third now balloon to that left hand as it floats higher and higher. Those balloons keep pulling that left hand higher and higher. And as those balloons take that left hand floating, drifting, swaying, imagine I place a really big heavy bowling ball in your other hand, pushing, pressing, weighing down on that right hand. That's right, that bowling ball really pressing down on that right hand as those balloons make that left hand higher and higher and that bowling ball makes that right hand heavier and heavier. Now, I want you to leave your hands exactly where they are now, but you can open your eyes now. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm fighting that thing, bro. I'm oh like, damn, my bro. God. Bro, I'm hey, fighting it, bro. I'm like, My oh. God. All right, you can all put your hands on your lap heavy. now. Bro, that was, that was cool. I don't know. At the end of the day, d two things happen, right? You're either here and you're like, okay, or you're here and you're like, okay, right? I was really imagining that. Right. Yeah, in my so head, in my I head, I thought I was like this. I was so. No, I came back. I was, oh, like, you were saying, I was like, like imagining it happening. <laughs> <laughs> I was fighting, bro. I'm like, no, stay even. So this right, one so started for feeling me, my hand didn't move much, but when you like, said like bowling I ball, I kind of felt like, like this. something, but my hand didn't move. Is that like kind of halfway susceptible? Like, what does that mean? So at the end of the day, here's what here's what you guys need to know. Again, this is the test. This is the warm up. A robot. The more, the more you guys can focus on me, the better this is gonna go. Okay. Yeah, we're so, talking about him being a robot. Yeah, you gotta make him a you robot. You hypnotize yeah. like robots and stuff. But guys. I mean, like, <laughs> Well, here's, in his brain, literally. All right, here's, here's the thing. Let me let me break down what we did and we can, we can answer some of those questions. We did this experience, there were no bowling balls, there were no balloons. But like you said, when you really imagined it, you imagined it to the point that it felt real, to the point that your body actually responded to it as if it was real. And I noticed you all had different experiences. Some of you were up here, some of you were in the middle, some of you didn't really move at all. You even said you were kind of fighting it. Right? Like I said, if you fight it, you'll win. I'm not stronger than you. I'm showing you how strong your mind can be if you let it have that strength. All right, I was like, yes. let's turn James into a monkey. <laughs> Quick question. Can you hypnotize Jesse into wearing deodorant? That is so foul. Don't even answer that, Zach. Is that is, is it possible? Is it possible? He's giving you the look Actually, that it is. Maybe that would be and, nice. And anything's possible in okay. hypnosis, so right. you never know. Just a question. I'm not suggesting. Yeah. <laughs> you said anything's possible? What about lower engage? Oh, lowering age. <laughs> I thought you said gauge. I was like, it's a video game reference. <laughs> uh, he said age. Yeah, it's lowering age. Tell you what, hmm. age age is a number, right? But you, I'm sure you know people that you know may be 50 and act 25, or you know people that are 50 and act <laughs> 75, right? Age is simply just how old you are. Dude, you are yeah. so good at talking. Yeah, like explaining things. Part of part of part of the trade. I've been doing Ooh, this for a little shit. bit. So. Hopefully this helps make it more like, yeah, this isn't me controlling you, it's nothing scary, it's the way your mind naturally works, and if you're open to it, you'll have a fun experience. It's part of the warm-up. It's having some like, maybe I'll do it not. Right. Yeah, it's and I think, I think I think the best thing that, that we'll do is, is Jesse and Zach, right? Okay. Right? One of you guys will start it off, because you guys had, you know, we're, we're letting your imagination run run free, and so I think we'll start it off. Are you first. staring at me? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Zach, let's get that connection. There, there we go. It. We'll have that Zach and Zach connection. Do you want to so have, Yeah, I'll have you guys switch, okay. so okay. you can be right here. Sleep at night. That's why nervous? you're nervous. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm nervous. Hell yeah, yeah. Shut me too, man. What, what are you nervous about? Um, I, I literally have no idea. Let me ask you this: What's the difference between being nervous and excited? It's not much of a difference at all. That's true. I'm excited. Just like that, he's no longer nervous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the difference, though, for those- Wait a minute. No, 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 no. no. The, difference. no. the difference for those of you watching at home is simply the story you tell yourself in your mind. Physically, it's the exact same thing. Maybe I was just excited. You tell yourself, maybe you are. And the more excited you are, the better it's gonna work because now you already excited. have a good expectation. <laughs> and that's what hypnosis is about, is your expectation ends up creating your reality, all right? All right. Okay, Zach, here we go. All right. What I'm gonna have you do is I want you to put your right hand out for me just like this. I want you to squeeze that right hand into a fist. Look at the back of that fist. Let your eyes become locked on that spot. As your eyes lock on that spot, imagine like a laser beam from your eyes there as your mind becomes focused and locked on the sound of my voice. Your eyes are locked there, your mind is locked on my voice. Tune in any distractions, any noises, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. 
focus on my voice. You're doing great. Keep focusing, keep concentrating on that spot, concentrating on my voice. And breathe out, let yourself sleep. Eyes closed, focus on the sound of my voice. Loose, limp, relax. Just let your eyes close and just let yourself just go. Again, loose, limp, relax. Just take all the tension out of this arm. Just let it drop as you drop even deeper that amazing state of relaxation and focus. Focusing completely on the sound of my voice all the way down. Tuning out the noises, distractions. The other guys, they don't matter. You just focus as if I am the only person in the room right now. The sound of my voice is all that matters. As you let yourself sleep even deeper, even further, all the way down, letting go. That's right. When I say that word sleep, sleep just helps you relax deeper. Sleep helps you relax further. Sleep lets you immerse even deeper in this amazing state of relaxation. Make a countdown from three to one. Each number I count down helps you relax further. Three, even deeper, even further. Two, doubling that relaxation as you go all the way down that amazing state of relaxation into one. That's right, focusing completely on the sound of my voice. Doing amazing and incredible. Keep this feeling of relaxation you're in right now, but go ahead and let yourself just one, two, three, awake, eyes open, feeling good. Notice that feeling of relaxation you're able to give yourself. Yeah. Feeling good. Focus right on the center of my hand for me, if you will. Deep breath in. Breathe out and let yourself sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation. What you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, it's as if you have become completely stuck to where you are sitting right now. It's as if the world's strongest super glue is where you're sitting on this couch and you cannot get up. The more you try to get up, the more stuck you are. But you are completely stuck to where you're sitting next time you open your eyes and you cannot get up. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. Eyes open. Feeling good. You notice this feeling of relaxation you gave yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Feeling good. But now notice what happens. If I ask you to try to stand up, notice what experience that creates. It's like uncomfortable. It's like my body wants to, but my mind is like, you mind can't. It's like you can't, exactly. And notice how the more you try, the more stuck you feel, right? Yeah. Even if you try to push yourself up, you stay stuck. What the fuck? <laughs> my arms you look won't exhausted, do it, bro. But watch, all I need to do is simply just tap you on the forehead, and now you're unstuck, you can get up easily. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll have you put your arm back out for me, if you will. Put your arm back out, look at the back of that arm, and just sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation. Letting go all the way down, loose, limp, relax, letting go. Next time you open your eyes, you're no longer stuck. But what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, you've completely forgotten your own first name. The more you try to remember it, the more you completely forget it. You cannot say it. Open your eyes, go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake, eyes open. That was kind of a weird experience being stuck, right? Yeah. You like felt like you were, you felt like you weren't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I know I'm new here and I don't remember all of your names. Your name was... But you know their names, right? This is... Jesse, James, Mitchell, Cash, Chris. And your name is... Oh, I I'm trying to say... <laughs> 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 no, I do <laughs> 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 Do you know? Do you know what my name is? Zach. Yeah, but that's name my is, name. There you go. Oh, 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 <laughs> bro, bro, I'm not kidding. I was trying to say like I I, I knew it, but bro. I didn't know it. I well, couldn't say this. it. Imagine I reach into your mind and I just remove your name. Your name is now gone from your mind. You when you try to think it, you say you can't. Your name's gone. You just here. Take his name. Your name is. Bro. You know your name, bro? I'm trying. No, all you, all you gotta do is, is you have his name, right? Did you did you put it in there? You keep it in your hand for me. Okay. Get, get back up if you need it. There you go, you got it. Why don't you just to, just to toss it back in his mind and when you toss it back, you'll remember. Please. Now, and now you know your name, it's... Zach. Shut up. <laughs> bro! Oh, how? No, how did, how does it actually you work, though? No. No. <laughs> No, I'm trying to say my memory, name. So you probably. genuinely look so tired when you woke up. Dude, the last <laughs> sleep, though, he was like, sleep up. I'm just sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation. <laughs> because he like, he showed me like how deep you're supposed to go. And then when he says sleep and he like makes me do it, I, it doesn't like automatically make me do it, but I like, I know where to you, go you, now you to want, like relax. To go. So yeah. go back to that spot now, sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation, all the way down, loose, limp, relax, just let go, all the way down even deeper. Next time you open your eyes, you're going to find that no longer forgetting your name, you remember your name and you know it. But what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, anytime I say the word hypnosis, the word hypnosis is suddenly the funniest word you've ever heard in your life. It's the most hilarious thing and the more I say it, the funnier it gets. Go and let yourself one, two, three, awake, eyes open. You good. Yeah, so you like remembered your name, but you didn't, right? Like, yeah, yeah kind of I was weird. trying to say it, but I couldn't like. It was just like stuck there. Yeah. yeah. I that's... knew what it was, but I didn't know what it was and I, my mouth wouldn't say my name. Because that's the thing with hypnosis, is that the idea that you focus on becomes... 
That's what hypnosis is all about, is the reality that you focus on is what you experience. And you've never done hypnosis before, have you? I swear to God, I'm trying not to laugh. I'm trying not to laugh. That's what, that's what hypnosis about is about. The word. <laughs> it's hypnosis, it's just funny, isn't it? I don't know why, it's just, the more you focus on hypnosis, the funnier that it gets, for whatever reason. Some part of your mind thinks it's ordinary, but you just know that hypnosis is just really hilarious for some reason. Hypnosis. <laughs> Trying not to laugh. I swear to God, I'm like, I'm fighting. Like, gosh, how you were talking about, you fought against it. I'm literally trying not to, but even if I did <laughs> Oh, what the hell? That's the crazy thing. Watch, that word is no longer funny. Now, if you think of hypnosis, it's just an ordinary word. Hypnosis. <laughs> hypnosis. Hypnosis. What? What the fuck? But you know, you know that, like you were saying, sometimes you don't even have to, like, hear it said, you can just think about it. Yeah. You know that word that I say that helps you go back to that state of relaxation? When you think about it, you'll know exactly what to do. All the way down, that amazing state of relaxation, letting go all the way down. Next time you open your eyes, everything is now returned back to normal, the word's no longer funny. <clears throat> Everything's completely normal, you just relax even deeper further, sleep, letting go all the way down, sleep even deeper, even further. Sleep, focusing on my voice, that's right. What you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, you do not recognize any of your friends sitting on the couch. They have all become total strangers. One, two, three, awake. You good? What's up? You okay? Yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> What's, What's up, dude? <sighs> are you uncomfortable? Where are you? <laughs> you? You know these guys, right? Come on. What's my name? You know your name, right? Yeah, Zach. Yeah, but this is... Bro, oh, I'm hurting. I swear I'm trying to say it. You don't You don't know who they... Who they who, Top of the these guys? Seat, man. Too high? Bro. I think we've met once before. <laughs> Bro. Jesser. Jesser. Dang! Jesser. <laughs> Chris. Okay. Cash. James. He came late today. Uh, Moochie. Hey. Mitchell. Yes. Hey, Let's go. go. Jesse. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That took you a second, didn't it? Yeah. Are you, dude, this like hurts your brain. Dude, dude I, I I could like feel your brain like overdrive <laughs> you there. You can see the In the, the beginning, I couldn't even, I was looking at Chris and I was like, I don't know who the <laughs> fuck this dude is. Like, <laughs> I, I had to look away. I couldn't make eye contact because I'm like, he's just staring oh, at what? me. <laughs> That's why, that's why, like I was saying, right? Hypnosis isn't mind control. It's not like I could just force him to forget you guys forever. But when he focused on that idea initially, he literally didn't recognize you or didn't know who you were. But then the part of his mind was like, no, wait, I want to know who these guys are. So then he allowed himself to bring that idea back. Because again, this isn't me controlling him or controlling you. It's me helping you understand how if you allow yourself to become immersed in a belief, it becomes your actual experience. So go ahead and let yourself sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation, letting go. Loose, limp, relax, just dropping all the way down. Next time you open your eyes, you're gonna find the weirdest thing has happened is, you know all, all your friends, you recognize them, you know their names, their face, except the weirdest thing has happened is the next time you open your eyes, they are no longer your friends, but your friends have all become zombies. Your friends are all zombies sitting on the couch and you're not quite sure why or how they got here or where they came from, but they are no longer your friends, but they are now zombies on two, three, awake. Oh, oh dude. fuck. <laughs> No. no, Zach, come on, yeah. bro. Yeah, I'm good now, but when I saw Cash, it scared the shit out of me. Take <laughs> <laughs> an actor, bro. Yo. No. I thought he was about to punch you. Uh, that just made me so uneasy, like, initially. It went away quick, but Cash, when I looked at you, I was like, something's, like, not right. Yes, I think it was that uneasiness that made it go away from him. He was like, I don't want this anymore. Like, <gasps> this is, like, this is kind of exhausting. Is it? Yeah. Well, I think- I'm not a zombie, dog. <laughs> Part of, part of the reason it feels exhausting is because you sort of have this like battle, like you said, in your mind, where some part of your mind is willing to experience it, but the other part like kind of is trying to fight it. You could even see, or if you when, you, when you guys watch the video, you can notice, you can see the wheels turning, you can sort of see the way that he's having the experience, but also mentally. All right, before we finish off, we'll, we'll, we'll do one more thing. We can just focus on my voice. Last time, deep breath in and let yourself sleep. Go all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation. Feeling good and amazing in every single way, that's right. And I'm just gonna count up from one to five. Each number I count up from one to five will just help you come out of this relaxed, hypnotized feeling and just feeling more energetic, more full of life, full of confidence. I want you to imagine 
just a big blue ball of energy inside of you, and that ball represents confidence, represents energy. Can add it from one to five, each number I count up, that ball expands and that energy inside of you grows. One, less relaxed, less hypnotized. Two, feeling full of energy, that energy expanding inside of you. Three, filling up, flowing through your veins now into four, feeling so good and full of energy, confidence, full of life, getting ready to completely release yourself from this hypnotized state. Getting ready to open your eyes now with the final number. Five, completely wide awake, feeling great. How you feeling? Yeah, I feel good now. Now you feel good, right? Yeah. I want to make sure I left you with that, like, that good feeling. Huh. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> That's fine. It works? Yes, bro. <laughs> if you really, like, lock into what he's saying and, like, imagine what he's saying, holy shit. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. dude. Can you get contact hypnotized? Contact hypnotized. Do you feel like <laughs> I was feeling mad comfortable when you were saying yeah. sleep. <laughs> All right, switch. Hold. All right, what I'll have you do is I'll have you put both of your arms out in front of you just like this. I'll have you focus on the space between those hands. Focus on that space, let your eyes lock just on that space. As your eyes are on that space, let your mind lock on my voice. Deep breath in, breathe out. Now, that's right. I want you to imagine that those two hands have suddenly become magnetic. Now, imagine a magnet pulling those hands closer and closer. As you focus on my voice, imagine you see those hands start, already start to move as that magnet in your hand pulls them closer and closer. And as soon as those hands touch, I want you to allow yourself just to drop into an incredibly sleep-like state of relaxation. They come closer and closer. As soon as those hands touch, you can just let yourself drop all the way down to that amazing state of sleep, all the way down to that amazing state. Loose limp, relax, letting go. And what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, Anytime that you look at a camera or recording device, that camera or recording device is suddenly the funniest thing you've ever seen. You don't know why, but it just makes you crack up laughing. It's absolutely hilarious. Anytime you look at a camera or a phone or anything that's filming, it's the funniest thing you've ever seen. Absolutely hilarious. Next time you open your eyes, any recording device is the funniest thing you've ever seen. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake, eyes open. Notice how good you feel, feel relaxed, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You okay? What's going on? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good. Let's... Bro. <laughs> this is overwhelming. There's <laughs> so many cameras. I mean, you film videos all the time though, right? Yeah. But, oh, I feel like my heart is racing. A little, little bit different this time? What's yeah. different about these cameras? There's so many of them. I feel like they're all staring at me as well. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little strange. That's right. Just let yourself sleep all the way back down. That amazing state of relaxation. Letting go. Loose and relax all the way down. <laughs> further. Just letting go. That's right. Tuning out their noises, their laughter, focusing only on me, only on my voice. <clears throat> sleep even deeper. That's right. What you find is that the next time you open your eyes, any word that comes out of your friend's mouth, anything that they say, your friends say, is basically the meanest or rudest thing you've ever heard. Even if they say something really nice or kind, for some reason it sounds mean. One, two, three. Awake. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you look hey, good, Jesse, bro. Hey, Jesse, you look fantastic. You look like Shawn Mendes right now a little bit. Oh, you guys, like in a very demeaning voice, Mitchell. <laughs> you got a nice haircut, though. I love your eyes, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, it, it does feel like intense the way they're saying these words. <laughs> No. It sounds that was like weird. Like I, I, it was a nice word, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little strange, right? Yeah. Why well, like, shake it inside? I apologize for my rude. Yeah, I really like a haircut. And the fade's looking nice. <laughs> Thanks. It's like he doesn't trust us. Yeah. <laughs> you know y'all are lying. Y'all are not usually this nice. Right. Here, uh, I'm actually gonna put a little uh, sleep dust in my hand once I blow it in your face. You'll go right back to whew, sleep. All the way down that amazing state of relaxation. Letting go, loose limb, relax, just drop. That's right. Next time you open your eyes, everything your friends say is now back to normal. You hear it, you understand it exactly how they would be able to intend it. But next time you open your eyes, all of your friends look like aliens. They look like aliens, they sound like aliens. And you may know that they're your friends, but they just look really strange. They look different. They sound different. Next time you open your eyes, all of your friends sitting on the couch have become aliens. One, two, three, awake. Be -wop, yo. Be -wop, be -wop. Bro, Chris <laughs> freaks me out. <laughs> when his eyes, that actually freaks me out. Like right when I opened my eyes, and I saw Chris like this, bro, like a rush. I just went to my That's like, what happened chest. to me with the zombies. You know he's not an alien, but initially it's like, whoa. Y'all were all looking strange. They're not anymore though. 
No, no. Oh, now they're good, right? It's like two, it was for like two seconds. Yeah, oh, so the same experience. And we'll do the same thing we did to Zach. I'll count it from one to five. Each number I count it from one to five. Feeling more full of energy, full of life, full of confidence. Imagine just this big ball of energy inside of you now, growing, expanding, starting with one, feeling less relaxed, less hypnotized, into two, full of energy, full of life, into confidence, into three, feeling more motivated and best you felt all day, into the number four, feeling absolutely incredible, fantastic, getting ready to release yourself in this hypnotized state. Friend, open your eyes now, full of energy, full of life, full of confidence, the final number five, wide awake, doing great. Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. No, that was awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. That was dope. But, all right. Ready to do some hypnosis? Let's do it. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think watching them? Do you think it's more or less likely to work now that you've seen it? I mean, I'm gonna try to embrace it as much as I can, but I guess I'll just see what, what happens. Trust the process. He's, yeah. he's a very Trust literal person. Trust the process. Very literal. Well, even by what you just said, you're gonna try, but any 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 time we fall something with the butt, we're like, but let me ask you this: What does it mean to try? I guess let go of the possibility that you might fail. It's gonna try to take off your hat. Can you do that? Yeah. I mean, no, I don't, 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 no, don't oh. take it off. I, just, <laughs> I, said, I said try. Put it back on, put it back on. Try, 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 try to take it off now. No, don't take it off, just try it. <laughs> try to take it off. No, now you're not taking it off. I need you just to try to take it off. No, now you took it off. Don't actually take it off. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> okay, try to, try to take it off. Oh, now you're not taking it off. I need you to, to try to do it. <laughs> I'm lost, exactly. man. He's, he's, he's lost, he's confused, and that's what it means to try. There is no try, as Yoda says in Star Wars, right? You either take it off or you don't. You yeah. do or you do not. So if you're going to try to get hypnotized, what does that mean? Oh, you're just going to be confused and you're lost and nothing's going to happen. So you're already dooming yourself to fail before you start. What I'll have you do is put both of your arms out like this. Interlock your fingers, including your thumbs. Focus right there. Let your mind focus on the sound of my voice. As you focus on my voice, just tune out the distractions, tune out the noises. Just let yourself begin to relax, begin to focus on that spot. That's right. Great, focus on me. Imagine those hands becoming stuck right now, fusing, bonding, gluing together. You can notice this. If you try to pull them apart, they come closer. Try to pull them apart and notice that you can't. They become just stuck. They won't come apart. The more you try, the more stuck they become. And just let yourself sleep. Focus on the sound of my voice. Let those hands come apart now. Loose, limp, relax. Just let yourself drop even deeper, even further. Focus on the sound of my voice. And what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, you will find that you also become completely stuck to where you are sitting as if the world's strongest super glue was on this chair, on this cushion, on this couch. It's as if you weigh physically almost like 5,000 pounds. You cannot get up. You're completely stuck to where you are sitting. So go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. Eyes open. You notice how quickly you just let yourself relax, have that experience, right? Mm -hmm. And notice what happens if you, if you try to stand up. Notice that experience you create. My back does feel heavy, I it's will heavy, say. yeah? Yeah. But if you try to get up, what happens? My knees feel heavy. And you can, right? I can. Because again, you focus on the idea of being stuck, the idea of not being stuck. I, the thing I is, like, I guess I'm like, I'm trying, but I don't know. I just we like, already talked like, about trying. Like, we already know what stand up. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just stand up. So that's why it's hard for me. Yeah. Well, it's as hard or as easy as you decide it is. Yeah. I want to give it a shot. You want to give it a shot? Fuck it. All right. Just in fact, you can just let yourself go there right now. Just let yourself just relax, focus on my voice. I want you to imagine that this right hand. I want you to imagine this right hand just starts to become light. It starts to become light. In fact, it starts to become so light, it starts to float. Imagine this idea, almost as if your right hand has become like hollow and it's full of helium and it makes it want to rise. And that whole right arm actually, your whole arm into the elbow and into the shoulder actually is just filled with helium and it's so light that it just wants to float. And the more it raises, the higher that it gets. And that hand just, oh, that's right. As it continues to float, the higher it gets, the lighter it gets, the lighter it gets, the higher it gets. And you can just feel that right, right hand, that right arm into the elbow now, into the shoulder, that whole right arm just floating, rising. That's right, as your mind creates that idea, that expectation, but just as light as a feather. And with that hand as light as a feather, in a moment, I'll snap my fingers and it'll weigh exactly what it does and it'll fall right back down. And as it falls right back down, you can let yourself relax right back down with it. Now, as that hand goes all the way down, you relax even deeper, further focusing on my voice. But next time you open your eyes, you have found that with all of your friends here on the couch, they have all turned into an animal. They've all turned into cats. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. So that no longer, that solar camera, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's good, but, and you, you guys, you've known these guys for a while, right? Wow. 
No, nah, okay, so <laughs> the bodies, I see Cash, but like he has like whiskers and shit. <laughs> nah, that ain't me, though. <laughs> I mean, he's got a beard. Sometimes people say beards are whiskers, yeah. right? But do they all look like that? Just Cash? I just saw Cash, but it was really like, like quick. I was, I was trying to picture everyone's in a cat body. But then it turned out like, I don't know, the opposite. Now, here's what, we'll do one final thing, because you mentioned your hamstring was still kind of bugging you, huh. right? Now, we're not gonna go actually make you like play on it or run on it, like, because obviously I don't want you to hurt yourself. But what I can do is make it hurt less. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being like the most pain you've ever experienced, and one being like no pain at all, where's it at? Like five. Okay, so like right in the middle, yeah. okay? So what I'll have you do is close your eyes, sleep, focus on the sound of my voice. That's right, focus on me. I want you to imagine right now, imagine, that you are staring at a temperature gauge. Um, but rather than reading the temperature in the room, it actually reads the, the temperature of your, your pain. Imagine you can just see that number five, just staring at that dial. But I want you to imagine you turn that dial down to a four. And imagine that feeling less painful, feeling a little bit better. Imagine turn it down to a three. Notice how it's just even, even less pain, feeling even better. I want you to imagine now even how your hamstring and your good legs feels versus the one that feels pain. And imagine now as it turns down to a two, how much closer they feel, where now they both feel almost completely normal, completely pain-free, completely fine. And as I turn it down to a one, you notice how there's almost no difference. There's almost no distinction. There's almost no pain whatsoever until I get ready to turn it down to a complete zero. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count now back up from one to five, not on the gauge, that temperature gauge is still set on zero and still will be for the rest of the day, but I'm gonna count up from one to five, each number I count up from one to five. You'll lock in the fact that that temperature gauge is on a zero even more, filling yourself with more energy, confidence, positivity, and to one, doing amazing and incredible, filling yourself with confidence and energy. Two, knowing and feeling that that Pain is just gone into three, feeling so good, full of energy, full of life, confidence, motivation, into four, doing absolutely incredible and amazing, getting ready to release yourself from this hypnotized state completely, pain-free in that hamstring now at the final number five, eyes open wide awake. Wow. How you feeling? <laughs> Feel good. Hell yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Feel a little bit better than I did before? I mean, it feels like, what the oh, fuck? fuck? I'm gonna Wait, call you. It? Next time I get injured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't go crazy on it. <laughs> yeah, but he couldn't even sit like that before. He, he couldn't even bend it. <laughs> it's trippy, ain't it? Wait nah. a minute. Bro, cancel hold that. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm serious, like, like that like hurt, but now I'm like, I have no pain. But before, like while I was sitting here the whole video, I had like a little bit of pain. The unnecessary pain that was kind of reminding you that it's there it doesn't have to be. Dude, thank you. Yeah, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, Cash, you ready to do some hypnosis? Yeah, man. All right. I'm big in the mental thing, man. You know, I, I like the while I get tattoos. When they hurt, I can sit there and like, but I can like kind of like change it, man. Like, oh, it feels good. Yeah, exactly. You know? So you're already good at it. You're kind of reserved about hypnosis earlier, but you're yeah, doing I'm it reserved all the time, right? It's like, man, because I, I know how powerful it can be. I'll have you put just your right hand out for me. I'll have you actually turn and look at your fist. I'll have you just look right there. Focus right there. Focus on that spot. Let your eyes lock on the palm of your hand. Let your eyes focus there as your mind focuses on the sound of my voice. And I want you to imagine an invisible string from your hand to your hat. Imagine that invisible string starts starts to tighten, starts to pull that hand closer and closer to your face. Sleep, let go now. Drop all the way down, that amazing state of relaxation. Loose, limp, relax, just sleep, letting go all the way down, deeper and further. What, you, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that next time you open your eyes, I want you to imagine what it would be like if your hat was suddenly stuck to your head. Almost like the hat was glued to your head or it's attached to your head or it's part of your head or fused with your head. But next time you open your eyes, your hat's completely stuck to your head. Next time you open your eyes, go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. It's open. Feel good. You notice how quickly you let yourself relax. Feel good, right? right? Right. But now notice what happens if you try to remove your hat. Notice that feeling that you've created. Notice that feeling of stuckness. Nah, I'm a fucking ball, huh? <laughs> there, you go. there you go. But what did it feel like initially? Did it feel it, stuck at first? Yeah, it felt like I was like scared to do it. Like I was like, I don't want to put my, my top back, you know? It was like really glued to it. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, I don't want to like, you know, put my skin back with it, you know?
Yeah, That's yeah. I, I think I'm through here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, can't, I don't want to do them more. Man. I'll try. Hey, I don't want to do them more, man. I want to do the least ones. But hey, you oh at least God. tried it, right? Before, yeah. Before you were like, I don't know that I want to do it. So you at least gave it a go, and that's still a win because it sort of changed your idea of it, right? Right, 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 right. Appreciate the experience. Yeah. yeah that was good, bro. Was You're good, still kind of nervous, I can tell. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you nervous about? Uh, altering the mind. Altering the mind? Who can alter your mind? Me. Can I alter your mind? If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you would be nervous, just because if I could alter your mind, like if I I, I think you can, so. Do you think I can suddenly turn into a big green dragon right now? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> nah, you're not worried about that happening, but that's just as equally impossible as me altering your mind. Neither of which are true. But if you think that I can do something I can't, you're hypnotizing yourself already into thinking that that's possible. What I'll have you do, put your right hand out just like this, look right at the, right there. I'll have you actually, I'll have you put your hand right on my hand. I'll have you just look right there. Press down, press down on my hand, really press down. Focus right there, focus on that spot, focus on my voice, focus on that spot, press down even harder, even harder. Really try to push my hand into the ground, really push it with your weight. In a moment I'm gonna say that special word, you know exactly what to do right there. Push that hand and sleep, let go all the way down, that amazing state of relaxation. Loose and relax, letting go all the way down. That's right, focus on my voice, just drop even deeper further, focus on my voice all the way down, loose limb, relax, completely relax, letting go all of the tension, all of the energy. Just, well, next time you open your eyes, you're gonna find that you've become completely stuck to the couch. You cannot get up, you're completely stuck to where you're sitting. You're completely stuck to the couch next time you open your eyes. One, two, three, awake. Ooh. You notice how quickly you let yourself just drop into that relaxed state, right? I felt good. You felt good, yeah, that's good. Now notice it happens if you try to get up. What experience does that create for you? I'm stuck. <laughs> Dude, your heart is pounding. <laughs> I can see it in his shirt. Just coming right out. Yeah. But even if you try to get up, what happens? What the hell? He can't even move his arms. Dude. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> you just let that feeling spread, right? That's crazy. But now watch, you notice you are unstuck and you are no longer stuck. You can get up easily, right? Ooh. That's crazy. All strange, right? All right. All right. Feeling good. Sit back up for me. Doing great and sleep all the way back down in an amazing state of relaxation. <laughs> Let it go all the way down. Next time you open your eyes, no longer stuck, but you'll find that you've completely forgotten your own first name. The more you try to remember it, the more you completely forget it. You don't know your, your name, you completely forget it. You've completely forgotten your own name next time you open your eyes. One, two, three, a week. Now you felt stuck or that's kind of cool experience of like showing yourself what your mind can do. But if you, and now you, you're, make you're sure. not stuck anymore, right? Yeah, but if you think of your name, your name's stuck. It's, your name is? Crowley. There you go, right? Is that your first <laughs> one? <laughs> Yo, he just came out his that? government last name. <laughs> that's his last name. <laughs> that's your last name, but your first name is? Hold on, it's there. Notice how he said his last name because he had to say something, and if the, the first name's not there, then oh, sure, there's that, but. It's it's actually. It's right here. It's right there. It's actually your hat that's causing you to forget. Watch, if you take off your hat, you remember your name. It's. Mitchell. <laughs> Whoa! But watch, as soon as you put your hat back on, you find you completely forget again. Watch, that name is now gone. Your name was. What the fuck? You just said it a moment ago. Oh, I think I, I think your name was actually sleep, right? All the way back down, that amazing state of relaxation. Loose, limp, relax, just letting go. All the way down, loose, limp, relax, just let those arms relax. All the way down, that's right. Next time you open your eyes, no longer forgetting your name, doing amazing and incredible. What you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, anytime I say hypnosis, the word hypnosis is suddenly the funniest word you've ever heard. Absolutely hilarious. Go in there, shove one, two, three, awake. Eyes open, feeling good, doing good, feeling relaxed. Now you know your name, it's... Mitchell. There you go, right? But that's the thing with hypnosis, right? It's the idea that the focus on becomes a reality experience. That's what hypnosis is, is all about, yeah? You've never done hypnosis before, have you? Now, hypnosis is a pretty pretty fun experience, though. So you, you know what we should do, bro? Hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to do hypnosis, bro? No hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Hypnosis. <laughs> Hypnosis, bro. <laughs>
Hypnosis is real, Mitchell. Actually, the next time they say that word, it'll put you right back to sleep. Watch. <sighs> Hypnosis. All the way back down, an amazing state of relaxation. Doing amazing and incredible sleep, letting go even deeper, even further. All the way down, that's right. Next time you open your eyes, that word's no longer funny. Everything is now returned back normal in every single way. However, what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, as you're going to see that the person filming, the people holding the cameras, they have now become Bigfoot. One, two, three, awake. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I scared myself out of that one, but that was... That was scary off rip. I'm chilling now, you're not Bigfoot anymore, but that shit was scary. No, it was a little weird. It's weird because it still kind of looks ones, weird. We always like snap ourselves out of, but the initial reaction is like, yo, is that like, so we can scare ourselves out of like- I think I scared myself out of that one. I'm like, fuck that. Well, sometimes it happens, but also I think what happened is because it happened to you first, it created an expectation that that would happen with other people too. Just no, you gotta put me back. This is too weird. Make him bark. <laughs> we got to, bro. All right, here's what we'll do. Sleep all the way back down in amazing state of relaxation. Letting go, loose limp, relaxed, all the way down. Doing amazing and incredible. Next time you open your eyes, no longer Bigfoot. Everything is now returned back to normal in every single way. However, next time you open your eyes, I want you to imagine, I want you to think of your very favorite celebrity, your celebrity idol or the person you've always wanted to meet, person you look up to, you would love to meet someday. And I want you to find that next time you open your eyes, I have now become that person. With yourself, one, two, three, awake. What's going on? What's up? Yeah, you doing good? Yeah. Now, remind them who I am. I broke out of that one. Oh, that's okay. Did you see anything different at first or no? And what did you see at first? I saw Melly for some reason. Yeah. Not <laughs> even my favorite artist. <laughs> Is Melly? this who you were thinking of? Y N W Melly. No, he got scared. Dude, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, what? He has some on his mind, didn't he? <laughs> we took a dude in jail. Yeah. Murder on murder. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. Isn't he your sleep paralysis, Steve? Yeah, I think that's why I fucking saw it. All right, let's put me back to normal. <laughs> you gotta get out of it. <laughs> You've been normal the whole time. But all right, here, before you do, what's one thing that would be good, like a positive thing or a way that would help you with it? Um, Take away a little anxiety. Okay. Okay, last time, deep breath in. Breathe out, sleep, go all the way back down to the amazing state of relaxation, letting go, doing amazing and incredible in every single way. Focus on the sound of my voice. Focus on this truth, on this reality of this anxiety that you might experience in your life. And I want you to remember that the reason you feel anxious is because you're time traveling in your mind. The anxiety you experience is because you're either living in the past of what has happened and no longer is, or in the future of what may happen and might Never will. But the way to beat anxiety, the way to feel less anxious in your life is to remember that when you're right here, right now, in the moment, you're not worrying about what's happened before or what will happen, but you're in the now. And the more you're in the now, it's impossible to feel anxious when you are grounded in this very moment. So anytime you're feeling anxious in your life, I want you to remember to be rooted in right now. Focus on what you are sensing, what you can feel, what you can see, what you can hear. Focus on this exact moment. And when you are in this moment, you won't be anxious because Again, anytime you're anxious, you're time traveling in your mind. So get rid of that time machine. Stop traveling to a future that may never happen or a past that never will happen again. But be in the moment, be grounded in right now and in the present. Because that's how you get rid of anxiety. So you can't be anxious when you are in the moment. You also can't be anxious when you are grateful. Because anxiety and gratitude are, are opposites. So you can't feel stressed and anxious when you are grateful for what is. So the more you let yourself be grounded and going forward in the future, in the moment when you are feeling anxious, let yourself just be focused on where you are, who you are, in that very moment. And you'll find that the more you're in that moment, the less you're in your head. And the less you're in your head, the less anxious or stressed you'll find you'll be. And I'm going to count up from one to five. Each number I count up from one to five. You'll integrate this truth, this reality, this method to beat anxiety further in your mind, but also feeling more confident, full of energy, full of life with each and every number, starting with one, doing amazing and incredible in every single way, and two, that next number full of energy, confidence, positivity, doing amazing and incredible, into three, the best you felt all day, all week, in fact, doing incredible into four, feeling so full of energy, confidence, life, feeling no anxiety whatsoever right now, no soreness, no stress, feeling just good and amazing in every single way as you get ready to open your eyes, get ready to release yourself completely from this hypnotized state at the final number five, eyes open wide awake. Ooh, that felt good. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yes, go. Hey. All right, thank you. Yes, sir.
All right, Zach, thank you for that experience. It was one no to problem. remember for sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was Zach. awesome. Oh, okay. Um, well, thank you, other Zach, too. You kicked it <laughs> off, and you, you know. Had yeah, I'm glad we all tried you, it. You all tried yeah. it. You all got to do it. And like I said, that's a win. Half you guys were like, I don't want to do it. I'm not going to let you try it. But anyways, Zach's links will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. We'll see you guys again next week. Peace. See you later. Peace.